to be back in Tassie. That's the best way to celebrate coming to Queensland. It's not so much what the leaders said today as where they went. It is so good to be back in Queensland. It was terrific to be on the first plane into Lonnie. Anthony Albanese straight off to northern Tasmania, where Labor fancies its chances of picking up a couple of seats. Do I need my helmet? No, no. I don't think you need your helmet. <laughs> the Prime Minister heading for the Sunshine State. What could possibly go wrong? Where the coalition's a bit worried about holding on to seats. Go again. The first time he's been there since May. Though we might not go to the polls for another six months, the campaign's well and truly upon us. If you don't vote for the Liberal National parties, then Anthony Albanese will be the Prime Minister of Australia and not myself. And that's what this election is about. The Prime Minister's chosen to have a very long election campaign. Well, I welcome that. But it's promises made during the last election campaign in 2019 that are causing headlines. The pork barrelling is just out of control. Analysis by nine newspapers showing a huge disparity between what Labor and coalition electorates received through government grants involving ministerial discretion, such as the so-called sports rorts program. The PM asked to explain how Peter Dutton's Queensland seat of Dixon received $43 million in such grants when the neighbouring seat held by Labor's Annika Wells got less than $1 million. Well, Dixon must have a very good local member. Yes. Yes, it's yeah, but they do, they have a great local member. It is no wonder that there's no National Anti-Corruption Commission because this government is rotten to the core. The shameless pork barrelling is unlikely to stop given the government knows it's got some catching up to do in key marginal seats. But the coalition hopes its electoral trump card will be its economic stewardship through the pandemic. Tomorrow's budget update will paint a rosier future for households and workers with high wages and more jobs. But like every recent forecast, it'll assume we keep ahead of COVID. Andrew Probin, ABC News, Canberra.